this video, I'm gonna show you how to make immersive menus like this in your Roblox game. So it'll blur the background and do a little zooming effect. And always, there is a model that you can get in the description. So if you don't want to script this, then go ahead and grab that. I still recommend watching the video though. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the lighting and then go ahead and add some blur here so that we can change that later. We can set the size to zero. And then in the replicated storage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder in here and just name it sounds. And then what we can do is we can just look up some audios. I'll just look up UI menu or something. See what sounds good. So this one sounds pretty decent. We'll just go ahead and insert this like that and put it under the sounds folder that we made. All right, now we need to get the UI. So I have a little bit of a test UI right here. I'll go ahead and insert this. And what this is, it's a screen UI with a frame in it which is what my menu is all contained inside of. So I have UI corner, stroke, uh, gradient. Um, it doesn't really matter too much how your UI is set up. Make sure you just have one frame that everything else is contained inside of, and it should work. And then I have an open button, can open button here. This is just a test button so that I can um, open this menu. All right, we can go ahead and set this frame to be not visible and go into the starter player scripts and add a module script in here so in this module script we can go ahead and rename this to menu fx so this will control the you know zooming and blurring of the background all right so in here we'll go ahead and get the tween service so that we can make it zoom it zoom in so game get service tween service and then we'll say we'll get the replicated storage which i abbreviate as rp we'll get the player gui game.players.localplayer.playerGUI. We'll get the blur from the lighting. So game.lighting.blur. And then we'll get the sounds folder that we made, which is the replicate to storage.sounds. Okay, now we need the camera, which is going to be called workspace.currentcamera. And now for the zooming of the background, we can get the default FOV, which is going to equal the camera.fieldofView. So this is the FOV that you will start at, I do it like this so that you can actually change the field of view without having to change this script. So whenever you're not in a menu, that's where the FOV will be. And then we'll get the menu FOV. So this is the FOV that will that it will change to whenever you are in a menu. So we'll say default FOV plus 20. And of course you can change, you can minus 20 plus 10, whatever you wanna do here, you can do right there. So now I'm gonna go down and get the tween info. So this will be the info we use for all the tweens. So let's say tweeninfo.new, 0.5 time, enum.easingstyle.cubic, and then we'll say enum.easingdirection.out. Now you can change this to whatever you want. If you want it to be faster, you can go ahead and lower this number. If you want a different easing style, you can change it to whatever you want. So you can just say enum.easingstyle, and then if you put a dot, it'll actually show all of the different options that you have so you can just play around with this see what looks best and then also the same with easing direction you could see you could use in out or in out all right so now we're going to actually create the tweens so we'll say blur in tween equals tween service create blur tween info and then we're going to put curly brackets and say size equals 18 so you can change this number to whatever you want this is the amount of blur that the player will have whenever they're in a menu. So if you want more blur, you can up this number to like 25. If you want less, you can do like 10 or something, but I'm going to do 18. Okay, now we can say blur out tween. Tween service, create. Send in the blur for the instance, the tween info that we created. And then another table with size that equals zero. So this will be the default blur that the player will have whenever they are not in a menu. If you want to have a little bit of blur while you're, you know, still just playing the game normally, um, what we can do to make sure that that doesn't get changed or messed up, we can say local default blur equals blur dot size. And then we can copy this and set that to the size instead. So if you have a size of like five or like three by default, it will not affect this script. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and say 
uh, local menus. So these are going to be the menus that you can't open or close. And this will be a dictionary with the name of the menu. So we're going to do quests because that's what menu I have. And then we're going to say equals player GUI wait for child quests. But we want to make sure we use that frame that houses all of the UI. And then to add more menus, you can just put a comma after it, copy it down and reference more just like that. All right. Now I'm going to change the name of this module to be shared. Um, you can name it to whatever you want. It does not matter. So in here, we'll say function shared dot open menu. And we're going to take in the menu name and then we'll say if menus at menu name does not equal nil so if the menu actually exists in this menus dictionary then what we want to do is we want to say menus at menu name dot visible equals true and we need to go down here and say shared or whatever your module name is dot menu opened so we're going to make a function for that so we can go ahead and copy this go down here say function and paste that shared dot menu opened and then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say blur and tween colon play, which I forgot to make the FOV tweens, but we'll go up here below the blur tweens. We'll say local FOV in tween equals tween service. Create, pass in the camera as the instance, say tween info, and then put the curly brackets field of view. This will equal the menu FOV. And we can go ahead and copy this over right below it rename it to fov out tween and change the field of view to the default field of view all right so now in menu opened we can just go right below this say fov in tween colon play and then we can also go down here and say sounds dot ui menu select so whatever sound you want to play whenever you open a menu we can go ahead and play that right there and what we can do is we can actually copy this whole function below it and say menu closed instead of opened we say blur out tween play and then we could say fov out tween play so now below open menu we can go ahead go drop down say function shared dot close menu we can take in the menu name as well say if menus index that menu name does not equal nil so if the menu exists, then we can go ahead, say menus, index that menu name, dot visible equals false. And then we can go shared dot menu closed and call that function. So this is all we're going to need for this script, but we still need a way to actually open and close the menu. So we need a way to call these functions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a local script inside of server player scripts. I'm going to go ahead and require the menu FX module script. So it's going to equal menu effects equals require script dot parent dot menu effects. And I'm also going to rename the script to be quests because that's the menu that it's going to control. And then we'll get the quest UI, which is going to equal player or game dot players dot local player dot player GUI wait for child quests. Okay, and then we can go quest UI dot open, which is the button that i have on the left of the screen right there we'll say dot open dot mouse button one click connect function and in here we'll say menu effects dot open menu with the menu name which is quests all right now we're going to drop down here say quest ui dot frame dot close dot mouse button one click connect function and that close one is inside of this frame right here and that's that x on the top right which is right there and whenever that's clicked, we have to go menu fx dot close menu and pass in the same name. So now if we go ahead and hit play on this, if we hit the button on the left of the screen, you'll see that it gets opened up and my camera zooms out a little. And if we close it again, it will go back to the normal FOV and normal blur. Now, if you want a different effect, we can go ahead and go into the menu FX, go up to menu FOV and subtract 20 instead of adding 20 and it will look pretty similar but a little bit different as well 
all right so if you guys found this video helpful at all make sure you like and subscribe uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video